What's going on family? I hope y'all having a great day today and ready to receive the amount of information that I have for y'all because we're going healthy and we're going holistic. So let's dive in. Our topic on hand today is snack food groups. So what do your snacking habits say about you? Number one on the list, we have bready types of food. Now these things alleviate dissatisfaction. So when I'm talking about you didn't have a hard day's work or you didn't do whatever you didn't have to do and you just didn't hit the mark quite well or things at the job just put a little bit of taste in your mouth, people tend to look for bready foods to find that comfort. Think about bready types of snacks like as a blanket, right? The bready types of snack, whenever you're eating on it and your body's trying to digest it, it's blanketing all of those feelings that overcame you for the day and overcame you for that moment, and it's trying to push you through it, right? So anytime you find yourself in a loop of eating bready snack after bready snack after bready snack, you have to understand that you are really not satisfied with some area, whether it be shape or form in your life. But guess what? you can get through it and you can get past it. Number two on the list, chew it snacks. And I'm gonna I'm I'm keep it a book. I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. Whenever you got that stress and that tension inside your life, who don't crave something chewy? You wanna get your, you know what most people get? They get gum. They don't even realize it. It's like the body is so full of like just tension and it's all tight and it's all wound and flexed together to where whenever they start getting that gum and they just start chewing on it and like, that woosah comes over them or it deviates the initial problem and pulls it and retargets it more so towards the mouth to where you can just chew it out and just get all it's kind of like somebody that's stressed out and want to hit a punching bag the body craves the same type of thing if you're not that type of person well <laughs> you about to crave some chewy types of food because i need to get this up out of here the body will communicate we just have to listen now number three on the list is creamy snacks now before i even dive into that i feel like we automatically should have a universal understanding at least as a hive mind society of why we crave creamy types of snacks but i'ma dive into it because y'all want to know why so i'ma dive into it you ever notice how you just had a heartbreak or like you just went through something real traumatic and like you really want to be nurtured and you really want to be comforted you typically grab a creamy snack well it goes without saying that is one of the biggest telltale signs that you're going through something or have been through something that requires you to be comforted, that requires you to be nurtured in some way, shape or form. So if you're not getting it on the outside, your body definitely wants it on the inside. So don't be surprised if you find yourself going through something traumatic, going through a heartbreak, going through a grievance, a loss, whatever, and you find yourself going creamy snack after creamy snack after creamy snack, don't feel odd, but pay attention. Like I said before, the body will communicate to you, but we have to listen. Number four on the list is crunchy snacks. If you have anxiety, you're an anxious type of person, you always kind of like this, and you're worried about this, that, and the third, and you're having the text, nine times out of 10, whenever you want a little snack, or you want something to alleviate yourself, it's gonna be a crunchy snack. And that's okay, because you ever notice. Think about it, let's think about it, let's, let's pause. Now let's think about it, you ever notice how like when somebody is like has a lot of anxiety or like kids that's pent up with a lot of anxious energy, they get like ice cubes or they get like real crunchy snacks and they just, like they going in on it. Well, all of that rattle and all that energy and all that stuff that's floating inside you that just wants to burst out and go crazy, we're redirecting, <laughs> we're redirecting it towards our mouths, right? And we're gonna chew, chew, chew on it. We're gonna the crunchy sensation and it's flying everywhere and destroying it and ripping it up. It, you're essentially doing that on the inside. So if you're an anxious person. I will say, definitely use crunchy type of snacks to alleviate yourself, but solve the problem. Remember, the body is trying to say that, okay, I have too much going on, or there's a lot of energy that's not being used properly, or it's just sitting there, or it's being stored differently, and I need to do something about it. So I'm gonna make you crave this type of snack so we can get this together. So listen to the body. Number five is salty snacks. Now look, if you somebody that's like kind of violent, or you got these tendencies, you know what I'm saying? You got these little anger tendencies. Or like, you just real frustrated. The average person is gonna go to a salty type of snack and or food because it gives the body a job. It gives the body a sense of redirection. You know, so the, anytime somebody's eating something with a little twang on it, like, ooh, it's seasoned just right. It got the right amount of spices, that and the third. Your body's craving that salt. Your body wants that because it's like, okay, well, since we're not actually gonna act on what we're feeling on the, on the outside or you're not dealing with what's going on on the outside properly, I'm gonna need you to put something in here that's gonna redirect all of this because with the way I'm feeling, anybody could get it. On a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and whatever day we gonna make up for the rest of the week, that body is gonna want you to create something salty and it's gonna look, 
I'm waiting. And that's just how that's just how salty snacks work. So do realize that if you find yourself eating a whole bunch of salty snacks, you gotta find a way to get that anger and that tension up out your body. That's not healthy, baby. That's not what we need in these streets. Now, last but not least on the list, we got sugary snacks. And look, I'ma just put this out there. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with y'all. That's my weakness because I am a really, 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 really big lover. Whenever people crave a lot of sugary sweets and just snacks in general like that, we're saying that we're actually, what our body's trying to tell us is that we are actually craving the, the desire to give and receive love. Now, if you're somebody like me who has a tremendously big heart and you love love and you love giving love and you love receiving and you wanna feel love and love, 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 guess what? You're gonna want some sugary types of snacks and it's just a natural thing. So you can tell a lot about a person's personality if, well, a lot about their love and their level of love if you find them eating sugary snacks over and over and over and over again because guess what? Their body's saying, this is what I need to satisfy this and I'm either not getting or not giving enough love because it works too. That's a, that's the beautiful thing about love. It works to and fro. So what we have to understand is that if we craving a lot of sugar, you either need to give it, receive it, or do something because the body's like, we got all this love or I'm seeing all of this love and we ain't interacting with it or I'm not getting enough of it. So either you gonna put this in here and make me taste this so I can kind of satiate myself or we about to act out in this piece. But guess what, that's fine. That's fine, they're not good when they get you a little sugar or something. But just understand that the body is trying to tell you that I have a need, I have a mighty need to give and or receive some love. So help me, satiate your boy. Give me something to work with, player. And that has been our list of foods and snacks that tells us a lot about ourselves, whether we knew it or not. And if you leave with anything from this video, granted, you can go back and watch it again if you want to. Just saying, you got access. But what I will say is, is that you have to make sure that you're listening to your body. The body is not going to just make you crave these things for this for no reason. The body is not going to sit there and just make things happen for no reason. We have to listen. Start a journal. Do something to where you're like, okay, I crave this. And Coach Brian said that this makes me feel like this. So maybe I need to focus on this area of my life. Maybe I need to switch things up a little bit. You know how, you know what's going on in your life. Whether you want to accept it or not, you know what's going on. Listen to your body. Your body wants you to have the healthiest, most holistic life that you can possibly give it. And why not do it? But we're leading with peace and we're leading with love. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for spending some time with your boy. Thank you so much for learning something today. And go spread this knowledge. Peace and love. You have a great day.